Let's go to First Corinthians chapter twelve. Uh, First Corinthians. Chapter thirteen. This is the time for Bible study. Go from verse one to three. To some Nubwo navuga indimi z'abantu n'izaba marayika nubwo nagira impano yo guhanura nkamenya ibihishwe byose n'ubwenge bwose nubwo nagira kwizera nkabasha gukuraho imisozi nubwo natanga ibyanjye byose ngaburira bakene ndetse nkitanga nange ubwanjye ngo nkwikwe nkabihaye mungu nkabahoye mungu the Bible says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy, understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, just like the martyrs, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Yes, Hashim. Praise be to Jesus. I would like to tell you why we are having this study on love. You realize that if you understand the agape love of God because we have put aside the others, it will enable you to serve God in a better way. It will enable you to be good Christians. Kuko, because ikibazo, it's a problem umukunda, telling someone that you love them ariko gusa. but you're only looking after what they will do for you icho gusa. just because of what they can do for you Ubu monsi, the Christianity we have today ko they have lied to us that Jesus is there just to provide Natwe us yesu uza gusa. and we live only waiting for Jesus who is there to restore us. That's how we've lived. That's how we've been taught for many days. You love Jesus when you're in prayers because you have a problem. You seek Jesus because you have a failed marriage. You seek Jesus because the exam is around the corner. You remember Jesus when calamity and disasters come your way. And that's when your prayers are intense. It's not right. That's not the relationship we have with Jesus. That's not why Jesus went on the cross for you and I. Loving someone because of what they give you who can accept that? What if it was you? If you love someone and you see that they remember you only when they love you, will you think that that person loves you? Church of Christ, therefore, my purpose in teaching you about love and also learning myself, you need to change things. Let us change the way we see things in our hearts. Jesus expects us to love him. He wants you to love him for real. Don't just come in front of him because you are coming to us. Who are you lying? Who are you deceiving? So when we know about love and we understand this type of love will change the way we relate with God. And you see that clearly that the way you used to relate with God will change. 
ago now where we are now ubushize Moses yatwigishije neza cyane last time Moses taught us very well kuko yatugejeje aha hantu ninjiriye he took us to the point where i will begin from yatugejeje aha hantu he took us to the place ijambo ry'Imana the word of god ritubwiye ngo niyo wavuga indimi it tells us even if you speak ngo niza ba malaika of men and of angels ngo gahanura ukagira ibintu by'ubwenge buteye ubwoba and have prophecy and understand all mysteries and knowledge ukagira ubutunzu kwitanga ibintu bigacika and you have so much wealth and you give and you know you're so impressive to everyone ukagira kwizera kuzura bapfuye kuva na wimisozi and you have faith that can raise the dead that moves the mountains ariko ngo ibyo ngivyo ubikora udafite urukundo ntacyo bimaze but if you do that without love then it is useless ndagira ngo mbabwire i want to tell you biriya bintu byose paulo yanditse all those things that paul has wrote ibyo byose tuvuze guhanura kuvuga indimi kwizera kuvanaho ni impano nibintu imana itanga those things are we say you know speaking in tongues prophesying doing all those things those are gifts that we receive from god itonde kugwire so careful let me tell you ujya kubyiga mu ishuri you are not going to learn that at school nta shuri there is no single school nta shuri ryiga indimi there is no school that teaches you to speak in tongues None aja hano bakakubwa ngo tukwigishe kuvuga indimi uzababwire ngo mwayobye If you go somewhere and they tell you that teach you to speak in tongues tell them you're deceived Indimi tongues mu misiri imbere tuzavuga ku mpano z'umwoko uh, In the coming days we we'll preach or we we'll talk about the gifts of the Ni mpano those are gifts ni impano it's a gift ziva mu ijuru that come from heaven ni impano those are gifts kimwe no guhanura just like prophesying hari byinshi byo kuvugaho there are so many things kuko abantu bamwe bazi ko ngo ukizwa etape ikurikira no kuvuga indimi because some people think that you get saved and the following steps is speaking in tongues akomba inkanyujijemo i stress apparent is indimi ziva mu ijuru tongues come from heaven indimi ni zimana and tongues are from god ariko ntabwo ari etape but it's not a step wamere yesa amashyi please clap for jesus ibi mvuga no kuri what i'm saying is the truth na nagusubirira and i can even repeat na nakwereka muri bibiliya and i can prove it in the bible yes ashim praise be to jesus ibi bintu byose paul avuze so all these things that paul has mentioned bitangwa ni imana all these will receive them from god shiraho kuzura bapfuye even raising the dead shiraho ibintu byose by'imana ukuvuga kwigisha jambo ry'Imana can add all those things even teaching the word of God kuba ufite ijwi ryiza rituzonga hano a very nice voice that impresses us all of us bene data icyo wahawe ni Imana beloved that thing that you received from God icyo kintu cyose ufite uziko wahawe ni Imana that thing you know that you received from God kuba ngo ushobora kwitangira abantu bakakwica the fact that you can even give yourself to be killed bibiliya iravuze ngo udafite urukundo the bible says that if you do not have love tekereza neza think about it Christ umwe ne data beloved friends christian muvandi mwe nshuti y'Imana my brother my sister for the gospel i plead with you in the name of jesus nabahurikiye kumbuga even those who are following me online ni bamenye ibi you need to know this mwumvise neza ku impano duhabwa n'Imana zitaruta urukundo rw'Imana muri twe have you heard properly that these gifts we receive from god they are not above the love of god in us kuki ubonye umuntu ukiza indwara urara yo why when you see someone who is being healed of his sicknesses you go and spend the night there uziko kuba afite impano yo gukiza indwara ari ibintu byiza byijuru do you know that having the gift to heal the sick it's something good from heaven kuba nshobora gufata mikoro nkigisha neza ni impano y'Imana the fact that i can hold the mic and teach very well that is a gift from god kuba umuntu hanura ni impano y'Imana you know the fact that you can prophesy it's a gift from god ibintu byose bituruka mu ijuru all the things that proceed from heaven bibiliya atubwira ubone ngo umwuka umwe ni wo bitanga the bible says is that it is the same spirit that gives those gifts and for him he will give you and to the other one he will give him another gift we'll explain that later yes ashimwe praise be to jesus ari kuzasanga duha gacira abantu dukurikije impano bahawe but you realize that we value so much people basing or in the eyes of the gift they have tukabitabanyamwuka dukurikije ko bafata mikuru and we think they are spiritual just because they hold the mic in front no no 
Ntabwo igipimo so the measure kinese zima na cy'ubukristo that pleases god the measure of christianity suko mfata mikoro is not for me to hold the mic suko naba ndurusengero ruhanura ngo abantu benshi bazaze bikurikira yuhanuze nti bakurikira imana is not for me to have a church that prophesy many people will come but they are after prophecy they are not after god tekereza kuri iyo bibiliya riri think about that bible that says paul aratubwiye neza ati ni mubiveho peter paul said leave those things aside We'll see that these things are being given by God for the edification of the church. Every gift is given so that the church of Christ might be edified. That's why every gift that you have, when it is a, a reason for you to boss, you know, you, you are seated and us who are holding the microphones we are the one going to heaven you're falling you're falling you're falling you're gone I emphasize on this so that you may understand. Because if you understand this, you will understand that the reason why we tell you not to always be after prophets and people who do miracles, you need to first check the gifts they have. The, 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 the fruits they bear. So. so all these are gifts. Now because they are gifts, Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 Reka mpabasomere Ngo mbese ninde wabatandukanije nabandi Kandi cyo mufite mutahawe ni igiki ariko niba mwaragihawe ni iki gituma mwirata nk'abatagihawe Says for who for who makes you differ from another and what do you have that you did not receive now if indeed received it why did you boast as if you had not received it are you still following me probably you're a christian and you don't know yet the spiritual gift that you have it's okay you get to understand that it's, it's possible that you might even be having it but, but what i ask you is for you not to think that people having the microphone are the spiritual ones <laughs> Uh, don't think that those who show the gift or who use the gift that they have received are the spiritual ones. Oh yeah. No. Urukundo. Love. Nicho jipimo. Is the main. So Paul wrote to the Corinthians. What was he telling them? They had divided themselves. Say we belong to Kef. And others they are for Paul. And others are for Paul. And he asked them, Did the spirit you receive is the spirit divided? The one who he showed how all of the three of them were just servants of God. Said, but we serve in different capacities, in different gifts. I wish you can understand this church. And the most important is that we serve in different gifts and capacities. We serve in different gifts. If we were the same, how would the church be? If all of us were to be apostles, then who would be pastors? If all of us were to be evangelists, then those who come as teachers, where would they belong? I just told you about the different ministries in the but there are other smaller gifts that are in the Christians, in the congregation. You know, someone might have been given the ability to use those instruments. And then he will say, okay, now I'm not going to collaborate and I'll see how those people are going to sing. If you don't have me, today if you don't have me, 
What I can tell you is that in the house of God, God will always provide. But everyone needs to be in their position. So Paul said all of us are servants of God. But each one of us needs to stand in their own position. One is planting, another one is watering, but it is God who makes it grow. He said you need to respect this. And what God asks is that us who are stewards who are sharing, we need to be faithful. Now he told them, say now if you've received it, why are you boasting? Church of Christ. I'm not telling to those who are here only. Even those who are seated, you become something. If what you have, that you that you've been given, if you know that before you got saved, you didn't have, that, and you have received it, and it's not profiting the church. Bye. 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 We receive the gift so that it can serve the sense. That's the reason why Paul was saying even when you're speaking in tongues you need to use it praying but when there is no one else to say amen just keep quiet. <laughs> You're going to start. Because there is this Pentecostal movement. You know, things that are there. That are people. Does it mean that you're not going to speak oh, in tongues? Yeah. No. If God gives you to speak in tongues, hallelujah. But be careful. Be careful. I just uh, gave the example of tongues because that's but today every prophet that I encounter I meet, listen to me I will tell you, you know, if I speak about tongues and prophecy and praying for the sick those are gifts that are evident they can be seen by all beloved it is given to edify the church to edify the church to edify the church I told you every prophet that I meet I told him I'm going to ask you something don't come to Omega don't think that I'm after prophets but please let your gift be under a pastor so that you can serve many don't go trading it I wish all the prophets might hear me. I know that I'm speaking on behalf of so many pastors. The gift of prophecy, it is not for you to be fed. You got it when it comes to Even this one of teaching. What you've been given is not something that you're going to use for your gain. It's not even for you to, to boast and you know to look down on people. Say now I pray and people get saved. You know, I pray and even I raise the dead. Beloved, if you've been given that, amen. But be careful to use it properly. Be careful to use it properly. That's what Paul meant. Love. He said, check. Now let me read what follows. Uh, we'll read in English too. Jesus sent his disciples. Where did he send them? He said, I'm giving you power and authority to the demons and all evil spirits. Who said that? Yes. Jesus. What did he give? He gave authority. To do what? Power to cast out demons and uh, snakes and scorpions. And the disciples 
they receive that just like who will do you now they run he sent them to go and exercise what they had received when they come they say oh teacher hey. say hey you know there are things you don't know you know all evil spirits we have chased them you know demons are obeying us they're just giving him feedback authority. he's the one who gave them authority but they are telling him things you're, you're, you're laughing but that's how we do Jesus told them they say master even the demons obey us in your name hey. do not rejoice that the demons obey us you but rather that your names are written in heaven I wish, I wish that from your young age this word will accompany you I wish I knew it when I was still young I wouldn't have lost my time thinking that I'm spiritual probably you're like I wouldn't have wasted my time thinking that I'm more spiritual than others so don't boast about anything you just receive it and want you if you don't use it as your master wants Jesus he took them down to square one you know he just pushed them aside <laughs> <laughs> he took them to square one basically. you know he told them that he told them you know do you think that that's amazing he just minimized it I'm the one who gave it to you and I knew that that's how it was going to happen so you know there is no news but my only question is this what if you rejoice that the demons obey you but you forget that you have to be watchful that your names are still in the book of life be love friends of God love rejoices in the fact that your name is written in the book of life let me proceed fast so what Jesus was saying I'm oh, sorry everything Jesus does everything uh, he does is driven by love there is a song about that I don't know if you know it and I praise Jesus everything Jesus says everything he does it's good even though on the outside it might not look pleasing just emphasize on that word so many times Jesus does things that you do not want he might tell you things that you do not want to hear he tells you things that you don't want to hear through different servants of God he would tell you things that you don't want to hear but it is not because you don't want to hear that that is not driven by love let me give you examples uh, John 8 11 in English you can read this woman she had been condemned because she had been caught uh, in adultery if you follow Luke chapter 4 verse 18 the reason why Jesus came is just love 
to set the captive and uh, to open the blind eyes and to declare the year of God's mercy all of that is good all of us it appears like something good that is done to us but I would like to tell you sometimes it goes the way you don't want Sometimes the way he sets you free from your infirmity, it goes the way that you don't like. So the Jesus we know, many of us in church, they know this Jesus who told the woman, I don't condemn you either. Many Christians, they know this Jesus who always tell you, I don't condemn you. No no condemnation on you when Jesus comes with condemnation when Jesus comes turning upside down the tables of the merchant in the temple we don't recognize him are you still following me I want to tell you don't only get used to the Jesus who tells you you're forgiven his love sometime it comes saying I don't want this and this is enough and I want to tell you Jesus he says those things yes indeed he say I'm not excusing that thing that you do this is too much enough he is enough. when he comes in that shape we don't accept but that's love because he loves you let him tell you that this is too much only two people very few I thank him too because if you don't him in that light you will be stuck somewhere you always be after the one who says I forgive you I love you and I accept you you go to heaven no no the gospel of God the gospel in the gospel sometimes you have to turn upside down the, the, the tables of traders when you have, when we have that trading in us he doesn't come telling you I'm forgiving you he says I don't want that and the second time he will tell you please change your ways the third time he will tell you it's not good for him to get to the point where he has to turn things upside down you know he has spoken for so many times I plead with you listen pay attention Mark chapter 11 verse 15 to 18 I will tell you just I will phrase it and tell you what it is. It's about those who are doing their businesses. In the uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse 34, and 36. Those with English, please read in your Bibles. You are is that Jesus? Does it sound like who came to heal the, yeah, those with infirmities? What is he saying? There? Salvation. The mindset of spiritual things it divides people sometimes. Who recognizes that? he doesn't say that they should separate but the mindset you have on things 
it divides people. Yes, people. Jesus confirms that one of the things that brought me those things are there. That among the things that brought me this is part of it. I also came to separate. Because sanctification goes with the truth we have learned. Yeah. Yes. When you're saved, you don't hate your father and your mother, but your mindset. It shows you that you're no longer on the same level with your father and mother. But I want to tell you, Christians, we get saved, but we don't live. You know, everything follows us. The friends of yesterday are the friends we have today. And the truth will be, you know, it's really no, it But the truth of God is absolute. There is one truth. There is one truth that doesn't bend because of my mother. There is a truth that is not in line with the fathers. And there is a truth that doesn't go with the fact that my husband has supported me. The truth of God is the truth of God. Thank you, Mama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, that's another level. That's another level. You know, setting yourself apart. Yes, she. Praise be to Jesus. So the truth of God is one. It doesn't have to take on board everyone. Stand for the truth. And whoever is not in line with the truth, let them stay aside and keep on following the journey. Let me stop there. Let me leave you with this scripture in John. He told some people, uh, you come from your father the devil. Imagine that is Jesus speaking to people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His love, the love of God, it always leads us to good things. Conclusion. Uh, concluding. No, ne se imvugi vuzwe mu rukundo cyangwa igikorwa gikozwe mu rukundo ubwo twabibwirwa niki? Now, uh, a speech said in love or an action done in love, what can tell us those things? These are actions that come from the heart that desire the good results in our brethren. Even though those ones might not understood why it is done like that. I want to tell you. When God is doing good to me, when He's doing good to you, sometimes you don't understand it. Sometimes you don't understand. Sometimes you might ask yourself, why are you taking me through this valley? Why are we heading? Man. But God, man. this God, He knows that that's the place that can set you free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us love Jesus. He is noble. Everything he does for us is good. Even though we may not understand. It. Even though we may not receive it. It doesn't always come with that image that you like. But he knows that at the end. Where he's leading you. He knows that it will be good. Please clap for him. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. Beloved, I would like to tell you that Jesus, his word, it works even when you're alone. He would just strike you with that word when you're alone. You know, when you're reading the Bible, being alone, that word strikes your heart. And you feel that he's shaking and destroying things that are in you. He uses these microphones when we were here in front. Sometimes he uses pastors when they are counseling you in one on one. I wish that you might know that it is 
for your own healing I wish that you might know recognize the one who is speaking to you so that you might not be like those disciples who saw Jesus and they thought he's a ghost and those who say that he is uh, demon possessed he's speaking the truth but they think that he's demon possessed because that is a level that of truth that they can grasp my prayer for you and for me is that this teaching of love it will get us to a point where our understanding of spiritual things goes up please stand up and let's pray Yes, we mwiza. Yes, uvuga byiza. Yes, tuyobora inzira yo gukiranuka. Yes, tuyobora mu nzira tudasobanukiwe ariko iryoshye. Mwami Imana ndagushima. Ndagushimira ho utunyuza. Ndagushimira ibyo wigisha. Ndagushimira amagambo yawe y'ubwenge. Ndagushimira ko ushaka ko tuva aho twari turi. Tukagusobanukirwa. Yesu wabwiye abigishwa bawe ariko uzi impamvu mutanyumva sinzi impamvu nuko murashaka kumva uriya aho mukomoka kuki mutumva langage yanje kuki mvugo yanje mutayumva kuki mudashikira ibyanyu mwami imana ishobora byose ndasenga muri iki gitondo ushoboze buri muntu wese hano ngo abashe kumva langage yawe abashe kukurokonesa iyuje muri forme iyari yo yose Yesu dufashe tukumenye iyuje mu yindi nzira itari ya yindi twamenyereye Yesu reka tumenye kudukunda uko biri kose mu bitugeraho byose tumenye ngura dukunda kandi uradushaka uradushaka n'ushobora kuturekura uradushaka 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 kandi uzatubona mwami ndagushi gira neza buri wese wakurikiye gira neza buri wese ufite ubushake bwo gukurikira ngo yumve icyo urukundo ari rwo urukundo rumwe rwitwa gape urukundo ruruta impano zose no kuzura abapfuye birimo impano zose ntacyo zivuze kuko urukundo ruzahoraho urukundo nti ruzavaho ibindi byose bizarangira ariko urwo rukundo nyarwo ari rwowe mana habwo ruzavaho Ushimu habgi chua hiruji rane zaburi wese mnizi na rija yesu vuga ngu amen. Amen. Oh, yeah.